Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back again with my goodness provisions for I think February no March I feel like this is March well we'll find out we'll find out when I go back and look <laughs> I think this is March so hello guys welcome to my channel <laughs> if you're new I don't know what day it is I never do it's really hard when you work night shift um, and your ADHD and you work from home, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes. <laughs> so if you guys are new, thank you for showing up today with me to watch me unbox something and talk nonsense. I appreciate you. <laughs> and if that sounds like something you might enjoy, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button. Yep. All right. Let's get it. Okay. So Rooted in Magic is our theme for this mall. All right, we're gonna put this over here. Oh, we just saw something in the picture. Okay, first off, we have an Ostara ritual. And it says, uh, this inside here is an Ostara tea blend. Very nice. So is there like an actual ritual too, or is it just a tea? Okay, it's a whole thing. Like, it's a whole booklet. Cool. Is it just going to talk about Ostara in general? Yeah. Awesome sauce. So my granddaughter was born like almost on Ostara. She was born the 20th of March. My oldest son was born the day after summer solstice. So anyways, mmm, that smells good. Happy Ostara. Oh, what do I have behind me? Oh, I have Ostara. I don't know. Can you guys see that? I have my Ostara right here. <laughs> it's, I, I hung this up probably in January. So I've been getting prepared. <laughs> been getting ready. Oh, I guess I should read about this. Um, Magic Fairy Candles Spring Ritual Equinox Tea and Ostara Booklet. Brew a cup of aromatic botanicals and enjoy a slow moment learning a, a slow moment. Learning about the celebration of Ostara, from how to craft an Ostara altar, to color symbolism, elemental incantations, rituals, affirmations, recipes, and more. It's a $12 value. You can find these people at Magic Fairy Candles on the Instagrams. They gave me a 20% off coupon. Okay, then we have Another tea, oh, this is a bath tea. Goddess Ostara bath tea. So that's nice, so we'll, ooh, it's, oh. Is it supposed to be like that, or did mine bust? Oh, my, my thing came undone. Look, it's a mess. <laughs> so there is a, an organza bag in here, stuffed in with the uh, botanicals. Ooh, it smells good. Mmm, too bad it, like, opened up. Okay, so it says, Reawaken your energies with this powerful blend of flowers and herbs that has been ceremoniously used in Europe and Asia to connect with Goddess Ostara. This is a $10 value. You can find them at Aroma, Aroma Sutras, A-R-O-M-A-S-U-T-R-A-S -A -A on Instagram, and they gave me a 25% off coupon. Okay. Now we have this little box and it says Lava Stone. And it appropriately is a lava, oh my gosh. It is a lava stone, but in a little baby bird's nest. <laughs> How cute is that? It's a lava stone in the shape of an egg. And it's in a bird's nest. Woo! Somebody just bought something from my store. Thank you. <laughs> How stinking cute is that? I didn't get any crinkle paper from either one of the boxes today to be able to pack my order. <laughs> I have crinkle paper. I have tons. Okay, so it says Origin, O-R-I-J-I-N, Black Lava Stone Thinking Egg. Practice mindfulness and inspire thoughtfulness with this thinking egg that has been solidified from molten lava. As you hold the egg, rub its porous surface to ground and center yourself. Bonus, you can also 
oh, bonus, can also be used as an essential oil diffuser. Simply add a few drops and enjoy. You can find these people at underscore, O-R-I-J-I-N, underscore. $17 value. They gave me a 20% off coupon. Oh, and then it came with this little piece of paper, and it says... Whoa. Okay, it says exactly what I just read. And that's about it. It's got the 20% off coupon on the back. It's a little paper. <laughs> I'll put it back in the box with it. Or, well, we'll just sit over here for now. Okay. Okay, appropriately, we got some tea. So we have a tea infuser. I don't know that I need any more tea infusers. I think I have 10,000 of them. But... Of course, it's super cute. All right, so of course we, oh shit, it broke. <laughs> uh, easily fixable though, hold on. Hold on. Okay, just stay on there. Okay, so you got your tea thing, Majigger. And then look, it is a mushroom. How cute is that? All right, let's see what it says. I just broke it again. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some wire or some little jewelry thingies to tighten the little jump ring or whatever. All right, it says Herbal Alchemy Tea Infuser. Steep some magic with a stainless steel tea infuser with a magical mushroom charm. Bonus, you can amplify the enchantment by adding your own charms or stones. Yes, because that one just fell off. That's okay. We can fix it. It's a $16 value. All right. Oh man, that tea stuff like spilled on something in here. Darn it. And it's like, was there oil in that? There's gotta be like oil in here. Yeah, essential oils. It got something in here kind of oily. I just spit across the room. Sorry about that. Okay, Mushroom Magic DIY Ultra Shelf. DIY? You're gonna make me put something together? <laughs> but there is a little thing to go with it. Oh, cute. So it says Goddess Provisions. And, um, okay, so it says Mushroom DIY Altar Shelf. Construct your own crystal. Oh, I love the smell of wood. Crystal shelf, no tools required. This four by five, or 4.5 inch shelf is perfect for holding the most precious stones. As you assemble, have your crystals around you and channel their energy as the shelf comes to life. Bonus, the inner, the small inner shelf is removable to accommodate larger items. Okay, and then there's an altar building ritual um, over here and you can visit like a, their website or something. Cool, yeah, I guess it says, you know, you could perform this ritual on the Equinox, fun. So anyways, it has goddess provisions, you know. Oh, look on this side. And then there's like little moon faces on this side. Look at how cute. Those might be upside down. Okay, that one is cute. And then there's moon phases. Very nice. So it's gonna look like, like that. Very nice. Okay, and then this is the thing that got oil on it. It's a book, which is probably not a great thing to get oil on, but I think we're okay. I'm hoping that it just got it on this cover. All right, so we got the Witch of the Forest Guide to Earth Magic. Ground yourself with magic, connect with the seasons in your life and in nature. It's by Lindsay Squire, illustrated by Vicki Lester. Cute little book. Oh, and there's pretty pictures in here. All right, connected with the energies of summer, fall, winter, fire cleansing, air magic, craft your own code of ethics. Salts, salt and its properties, all different salts. Hey, I carry salts. I have black salt, sea salt, um, Himalayan pink salt, coarser fine, dead sea salt. Uh, I do not have a couple of these other ones in here, but maybe I can find them. Uh, crystals and water, divination, look at that pretty. how to use runes. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I release the desire for control. Detachment exercise for empaths. There you go. So this book has a little bit of everything. 
Very cute casting a circle, closing a circle. After spell care. This is cute. Okay. Quattro Earth Magic. Master the practice of connecting with the seasons in nature with this full color book from the Witch of the Forest, Lindy, Lindsay Squire. This book is the perfect size to take on every woodsy walk. You can find them at Quattro Books US on Instagram or follow the author at the Witch of the Forest and it's a $20 value. So guys, that is our goddess provisions for March. I think this is for March. I'm pretty sure. 2023. I would love to know what you guys think. If you would leave me a comment what your favorite item is. I don't know. I think it's the book. I think it's the book. The shelf is super cute and I think I will do a little ritual with the tea and the ritual bath and I got some other stuff in a previous box and I could put this shelf together for Ostar. That'd be really fun. So, but yeah, but I think this might be my favorite thing. Super excited. And if you guys wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, it really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I'm not a good Elvis. I just watched that movie recently. Um, what'd you guys think? Did you guys see the new Elvis movie? I wanted more. Um, I felt like the movie was a little weirdly artsy and I didn't really, I just really wanted to watch a movie about Elvis's life. And during the movie, I kept looking things up and a lot of it wasn't true or they like kind of embellished things or made things like combined some things or put things out of order. They left a lot of important things out. Um, I think the guy did a really good job, but he's no, he's not Elvis, you know, but that's hard. That's a hard thing to live up to. Um, what do you guys think? Have you seen it? Okay, that's it. All right, guys. And until next time, have a great day. <laughs> Bye.